Hey everyone, I want to show you the dried um, airbrush pour from the last video. It dried really cool and I was hesitant about the yellow, but I'm really glad that I added it. I think it adds a cool dimension and it just goes really well with the other colors. Here's a recent resin piece. Turned out way cool. I've got other resin pieces down there waiting for a second coat. Um, no matter how well I clean them, when I have silicone, I usually need to do two coats. Clean it with cornstarch and Dawn dish soap, and yet I still need to do two coats generally. But if anyone gets it right every single time, let me know your secret. Because <laughs> I would love to know it. So doing another, using my airbrush and doing another airbrush pour. I've got Grumbacher Prussian Blue, Liquitex Deep Violet with Iridescent Medium, a Violet, Arteza Magenta Light, and Liquitex Payne's Gray. I'm going to set those aside so that I can form my base coat. This is um, a 10 by 20 wood panel, wood cradle panel from Blick. And my base coat is... Um, uh, Dutch Boy interior house paint in satin finish mixed with Floetrol and water. And I do have a paint mixing playlist. So if you go to my home page, the top it says like videos, playlists, click playlist and you'll find it. And I don't measure, but yet you'll see the consistency. I show up close, how I mix it, and the consistency that I get. So I'm just trying to cover all the edges. You do need to prime these wood panels. Touch up. All right, looks pretty good. Let me just run and make sure it's still in frame. Yep, it is. All right, what color should I do first? I'll do violet. Pain's gray. I'm loving these squirt bottles. Got them from Amazon. Magenta light. I always think it should say light magenta, but they call it magenta light, so. Who am I to change their name? Deep 
violet. Maybe I should start from the other side. Violet, so we'll put more. Plus, it's got that pretty iridescent medium. No Prussian blue. pretty good. Something in the paint. There we go. Stand up and look at it. And I, you know, I think I may try and get this to go off the edge.
it's got a pretty edge, which I'll show you. I love it when the paint drips off the side. Reminds me of a river. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.